Welcome to this video. There is recently in the news reports of a malware attack targeting macOS users. We can see there are headlines, critical warning for 100 million Apple users. This does not mean that 100 million Apple Mac users have been infected. It just means that the threat and potential is applicable to hundreds of millions of users. I will post links down in the video description to some of these news articles. You're also welcome to do your own research. But for those of you wondering what this malware attack is, Apple users warned of high-tech Mac malware that steals personal data, goes undetected for months. And it does appear that they may be targeting cryptocurrency, but of course they're going to try to steal any personal information that is of value. This piece of malware is called Banshee, which has been operating undetected for quite a while. And this is partly because of what happened right here basically stolen code from apple's built-in security was used to modify this piece of malware so that it could go undetected by both the mac security as well as most antivirus software and so basically it just ran in the background appeared to be a normal process and would steal user information now as far as how this malware is getting onto users computers it appears that multiple campaigns have been used to trick users into installing what appears to be Google Chrome or Telegram, basically fake applications that look like the real thing but are not. Now, as far as how to stay safe from this type of attack, the first thing that you need to do is be very, very careful as to where you download and install applications from. And this includes all type of programs, even extensions. Those of you familiar with my channel know that I recommend using zero extensions on your browser. And when you're downloading programs, it is better if you can to use downloads from the app store, but that doesn't mean that they are 100% safe as we have seen in multiple instances with the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Sometimes malicious apps do get through the safeguards. If you are going to download something from a website, just make sure that you know which website you're on. That's a reputable website. And I would strongly recommend installing fewer applications. The less applications you have on the computer, the better. In this specific attack, they are using fake applications that are posing as something else. But even legitimate benign applications can be hijacked and turned into something malicious. And so the less applications you have, the less programs, the less extensions means the less number of weak points you have on your computer. Also make sure that you never use outdated software or software that's no longer supported, which means it should be getting regular updates. And also be very, very careful with emails or messages that you are opening up on a computer Computer, especially if it has a link that it's trying to get you to click on or something, a button, an attachment, anything like that in an email or message, even if it looks like the real thing, even if you think you know who it came from, you need to stop and don't click on those. Also make sure you are using strong passwords, which are at least 25 characters long, includes a combination of upper and lower case letters, numbers, and symbols. Make sure you are using a reliable password manager to store all of those passwords and make sure you're using two-factor authentication or multi-factor authentication with all accounts. And when it comes to antivirus software, I think this is a good example of the best antivirus on the planet is you, the user, not something that you're going to ever download or install, paid or free. You need to learn how to identify these type of threats and use good practices to make sure that you're installing safe, reliable software onto your computer. And as shown repeatedly, an antivirus can be useful, but it should not be your primary hope of defense ever. You, the user, need to take that responsibility. I also hope this shows, and I don't know if this myth still exists, but yes, there are viruses and other forms of malware in existence for macOS. macOS never was immune to malware. It never will be. And there is no operating system out there that will fully be immune to malware attacks. If everyone tomorrow switched to Linux Mint, tomorrow you would also see a massive spike in malware targeting Linux Mint. That is everything for this video, but if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that thanks button, the subscribe button, the join button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.